Tonight on Q2, the Magic City quickly turning into a frozen tundra. That's right. Some of the coldest temperatures in a quarter of a century are on tap. So this isn't a snow issue. This one's a cold one. But will it be too cold for school? We'll find out. Plus an armed robbery caught on camera. Totally stunned and shocked. We'll take you inside the terrifying moments and have the details behind this arrest. And how low will they go? Great Falls, it was like 2, I think 2.30. So yeah, it was looking pretty good. Gas prices are finally falling as a very busy travel season begins. The MTN News starts right now. From Montana's news leader, this is the MTN 530 News. Well, good evening, everyone, and thanks for starting your week with us. I'm Russ Riesinger. And I'm Andrea Lutz. 46 degrees below zero. Purr, that's cold. That is how cold, though, it's expected to get here in Billings a little bit later this week, and that's when you factor in that wind chill. But the actual temperature for Thursday morning, it's going to be around 28 degrees below zero. And that would be an all-time record low for that day. Those numbers certainly have the attention of School District 2 officials who will be deciding whether to close schools here in Billings. I spoke with Superintendent Greg Upham this afternoon, who says they're in constant contact with the National Weather Service, but are holding off on a decision until later in the week. So um, hopefully by Wednesday afternoon we'll know exactly, but as of right now we plan on being in school. As you look at that forecast, what's, what's your concerns about it? Well, you know, one of the things we have to pay attention to is once it gets to 30 below, then our buses have difficulty with the diesel fuel. It gels and those types of things, and um, so that's a problem. And so that's really a, a, a determining factor, but we'll, there's others, just the overall cold, and if there's wind chill factors that go with that, uh, so all, all the above. The temperatures will continue to plummet over the next few days before approaching those record lows. Our chief meteorologist Ed McIntosh has been tracking this cold spell for a week now. And Ed, very rarely do we see it get that cold any day of the winter. We've got a couple of cold days ahead of us, certainly certainly by Thursday morning. Let's talk about where those records could be. As far as Billings goes, the record cold temperature, first thing in the morning, 26 below as it stands right now. That was 1989, 1990. Our forecast right now is at 28 degrees below zero. And not only would it set a record for the date, but there's other a, a few other benchmarks along the way as well. It would be the coldest reading that we've had so far since the turn of the century. Right now, that's 22 below on Valentine's day 2021 and the coldest reading that we've seen since 1997 when we hit 30 below we'll be pretty close to that we've only hit 30 below four times in billings and it could be the second red lodge mountain says it may close the ski hill later this week because of the cold this during typically one of the busiest weeks of this ski season red lodge has two policies in place related to cold weather if the temperatures drop 10 degrees below zero, the resort won't open its upper mountain. Right now, that's not a problem because only the lower mountain is open. But if the thermometer plummets to minus 20 or colder, the ski area will shut down completely. Our main concern is, let's say a lift breaks down and their machines and that happens. We don't want somebody hanging in the air for a long period of time when it's that cold while we fix it. So. Uh, so it's subjective. When it's 10 below, we really start looking at wind, whether it's sunny out or not, uh, a few different factors. Jeff Schmidt says shutting down during a busy holiday week does take a financial toll. The resort could see a six-figure loss, but says safety is always a top priority. Showdown Ski Area near Great Falls has already decided to close both Wednesday and Thursday because of the forecasted temperatures. Well, the frigid temps are also forcing Zoo Montana to close through Thursday, which includes the popular holiday nights. You can get a refund if you bought tickets for the s'mores tent. There is a number for more information on their website. With the severe cold on tap and a busy travel week about to begin, it's the perfect time to fill up those gas tanks. Yeah, and for the first time in a long time, there's some good news as prices are finally back below $3 a gallon. Alina Howder reports on the lack of pain at the pump. If you haven't filled up your tank in a while, you're in for a surprise. Gas prices in Montana have dropped below $3 a gallon for the first time since March. In fact, gas prices in the state have dropped 74 cents since last month, and it's great for all those folks traveling for the holidays. 
It was a cold Monday to be standing at a gas pump, but with the holidays just around the corner, people like Patrick Allen have places to be. I stopped by to get some gas to drive on home to Texas to see my family for Christmas. The senior airman has a 22-hour drive from Montana to Texas, so the prices at the pump were a welcome surprise and will mean more cash in his wallet come Christmas morning. It helps so much, I mean, especially with uh, the current prices of everything going up. Uh, seeing the gas prices go down really help a ton. There are several reasons why gas prices have dropped nationwide. There's been some economic fears in some countries, especially in China, and that's pushed oil prices down. Julian Paredes with AAA says U.S. demand for gas is lower than it was last year, and refineries are in full production. There's an oversupply in the market right now. That's really pushed gas prices a lot cheaper for the last two months. The timing couldn't be more perfect as nearly 113 million people across the country are expected to travel this holiday season. That's about an increase of 3.3 percent over last year and it's been it's going to be the busiest since the pandemic started. MSU Bozeman student Daniel Basilino is happy to be going home to Denver when gas prices are falling. This is like the perfect time for it. <laughs> and AAA says that gas prices should stay cheap in the foreseeable future, which is music to Daniel's ears. It's definitely encouraged some road trips, I'd say, like uh, just rec more recreation. In Lockwood, Alina Howder, MTN News. The hits keep coming for the Billings Sinclair gas station. Earlier this year, their staple, the big green dinosaur, was stolen. And now just last week, a terrifying armed robbery. And that robbery was all caught on camera. And now just today, it's led to an arrest. Casey Conlon has details. It's the latest example of a crime with a deadly weapon here in Billings. Friday night, 42-year-old Felix Lawrence walked inside this front door of the Sinclair Quick Stop at Broadwater and 10th with a gun pulled and demanded money from the cash register in one of the most brazen robbery attempts you'll see. I want it all right now. That's what Felix Lawrence said as he walked into the convenience store with a gun pointed at the Sinclair clerk could not believe that this guy just came in, you know, had the gun up. And Store owner Shea and Bill Grinsell were stunned by what they saw on their camera's phone video feed back at home. The clerk quickly emptied out the till, which was only a couple hundred dollars after he had moved some to the safe earlier. Lawrence was out the door 31 seconds after walking in when police were immediately notified. Stephen did an amazing job. We're so proud of him. The work then started to identify the robber. The Grincells installed new cameras after the iconic dinosaur outside their store was vandalized back in October. They never realized they would pay off so quickly. When we initially watched the video, we were like, wow, those are clear, that's great. All of it, all of it right now. The Billings Police Street Crimes Division arrested Lawrence Monday for robbing Sinclair and the Maverick Casino a few blocks west on Broadwater earlier last week. A good ending to a problem that's becoming all too familiar. So neighbors have decided to take action. My big TV in my living room, this is my channel, 24-7 for the last three days. Lucas Smith lives across the street from the Sinclair station. These are my friends. I, I shop here all the time. He and other close-by neighbors have now turned their cameras to face the Sinclair in hopes this is the last time their beloved store is messed with. Watching out for each other, man. That's, that's all we're trying to really actually do is just make sure that it doesn't happen. We're going to take charge and, you know, we're going to keep our neighborhood safe. So, I mean, with that, it's, it's encouraging. I'm encouraged. The ultimate silver lining. In Billings, Casey Conlon, MTN News. Still ahead on the MTN 530 News on Q2 as the Montana legislature gets ready to embark on a new session. We'll highlight a hot button issue that will certainly play a major role. And later, will the child tax credit be coming back for Montana's parents? We'll have the answer coming up in just a bit. The MTN 530 News continues right after this.